going on guys got a real quick and easy shop tip for you tonight that is what I think a very good solution for quick and easy soft jaws to go on your main bench vise uh, especially if you're not in the mood to uh, get real crazy with lining up and countersinking different nuts and bolts and screws and uh, you know dealing with taking those in and out every time uh, I think these are a very good solution for convenience and uh, quickly and easily installing and removing the soft jaws from your vise. So I got a couple of helpers with me today. What's up? What's up? Judah and Eli, they're going to show how they go on. But uh, before I uh, do that, just to kind of show you what these are and how I made them, uh, I'm sure every vise will be a little bit different as far as dimensions. The concept should hopefully translate pretty well though. Uh, I just have uh, slot milled in these to fit over my existing hard jaws. Uh, which happen to be about three quarters of an inch wide by about five inches long and uh, I want to say about a half inch maybe three eighths of an inch thick uh, that's really not all that important just keep in mind they do sit proud of the casting uh, this one obviously more than that one but uh, I just wanted to make sure that they do sit uh, nice and tight against those hard jaws. So I didn't go too deep with the slot. I uh, just took a three quarter inch end mill about an eighth inch deep all the way down right through the center and then I countersunk a half inch by quarter inch thick neodymium magnet uh, to hold them onto the hard jaws. Now if you don't have a mill you can use a table saw, even a router bit or a router table uh, to mill the slot. Uh, or if you want to you could probably even just forego the slot and just kind of bore a couple of magnets. Uh, you'll just have to work a little bit harder to line them up is all. But uh, one thing you do want to keep in mind when you do install the magnets, and I just use super glue, you can use epoxy or uh, interference fit or whatever, but uh, you do want to make sure to install it just below the surface of whatever is going to be contacting your hard jaws as you do not want the magnet compressing in the vise uh, when you close the jaws. Uh, because that will fracture the magnet. Uh, the other thing is uh, I think it's wise to oppose the poles so that when they are coming together in the vise uh, they are pushing away from each other. Uh, obviously you don't want them sucking into each other before the vise is closed. And then uh, lastly you do want to make sure these are nice and clean of any metal dust or debris uh, before you do close them on anything as that will tend to embed itself and scratch up or damage whatever you're trying to protect in the first place. Uh, as you can see the magnets are still pretty strong. Uh, now you could make the jaws a little bit thicker I suppose uh, which will make the magnetism on the face weaker but uh, then you lose a little bit of depth on your vise and uh, you're using you know more material and uh, spending more money on it. So uh, again, I just used some inch and a quarter by half inch bar stock, milled the appropriate slot, and then countersunk the magnet. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that seems to work fine. So I'm going to have my helpers put one on each side. You can First see how you easy they go. Push it. You want to use two hands. And then you want to. Okay, use wait for each other, guys. Probably should have opened make that sure vice up a little. <laughs> make sure you're holding it on so it doesn't fall off. And the magnets take over and do the rest, huh, guys? So there you go. They stick right on. Uh, very quick and easy. Again, just make sure they're clean before you close them. And uh, as you can see, the magnets do oppose each other. But putting a little tension on the vise takes care of that. And uh, that just helps to keep them in place when they get too close. And then, uh, as you can see, they just as easily remove. Good job, guys. Just stick them against each other front to back. Kind of store them as one unit. And uh, what's really nice is if you have some steel next to the workbench, you can just kind of stick them against that, keep them safe and out of the way until they're ready to use. So there you go guys, uh, just a quick and simple solution for some easily removable soft jaws. And uh, this is something I do consider disposable, 
you know, the stock, the aluminum bar stock, uh, was actually some scrap I had lying around. And, uh, you know, the magnets aren't very expensive at all either. So, uh, when it's time to throw these out, when they get too worn down, you know, I'm really not out more than a few dollars. So, something to think about. I encourage you guys uh, to maybe try something similar. See what you think. And that's going to be it for this shop tip video. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. With our sister. Yeah, maybe. And see you guys. And maybe.